Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice math problem? We have 64 raised to power x equals to square root of 16, then square root of 8. So here we can write this as 2 raised to power 6. 2 multiply itself 6 times, that will give us 64, then raised to power x. So equals to on this side, we still have it as square root of 16 then square root of 8 and from here let us raise both power to power 2 but before then we can multiply this and say this is 2 raised to power 6x we then be equals to square root of 16 then square root of 8 now from here let's raise both power to power 2 that is square both you know side here so the square we multiply the power we multiply each other here we have 2 raised to power 12 x here which is equals to square we cancel square root here we have 16 then root 8 here then in the next step we can write root 8 again and this becomes 2 raised to power 12x equals to 16, then multiply by root 8, same thing as root 4 times 2. 4 times 2, that's 8. And the root 4, we can get that as 2. Let's take it out. So we have 2 raised to power 12x now equals to 16 times 2, then times root. 2 from here. Then here we have 16 times 2, that's 32. So we have 2 raised to power 12x equals to 32 root 2 here. Now let's square both sides again. We square this side. Also, we square this side. Then the square here, we multiply this power. We have 2 raised to power 24x now. Which is equals to here we have 32 square. The power here we affect these two number, then root 2 square. So that the square here cancel square root. Then we have 20, we have 2 raised to the power 24x. Now is equals to here 32, we can write it as 2 raised to the power 5. That's to multiply itself 5 times. Then raised to power 2 here, then times 2. Then this power also multiplies. We have 2 raised to power 24x equals to 2 raised to power 10 times 2 raised to power 1. Now we have seen this and they multiply from here. We can apply the law of indices. We had the power. So we have 2 raised to power 24x equals to 2 raised to power 11 here. Now, the base are the same here. Let's equate the power to have 24x now equals to 11. Divide both sides by 24 from here. 24 cancel each other. And here we now have x to be equals to 11 over 24. So this is the value of x in this problem. Let's check if this satisfies the given problem. We have x equals to 11 over 24. To check now, we put the value of x as 11 over 24. Then this becomes 64 raised to power 11 over 24. Is it equals to root 16? Is root 8 from here. Then, when we work with this from here, we can write this, and this will be 2 raised to power 6, that's a 64, then raised to power 11 over 24, then equals to here, we can write this as well as 2 raised to power 4, then square root of 2 raised to power 3. Then from here, this power 
is we multiply six here one six here we have four so we have two raised to power eleven over four here is it equals to on this side we can write this as two raised to power four and this square root same thing as raised to power half then we have two raised to power three over two here then we can since we have same base now we can add this power then we have 2 raised to power 11 over 4 here is it equals to square root of 2 raised to power 4 plus 3 over 2 and from here that will be 8 plus 3 that is 11 over 2 so we have 2 raised to power 11 over 4 is it equals to square root of 2 raised to power 11 over 2 from here then the square root here same thing as raised to power half so we have 2 raised to power 11 over 4 is it equals to 2 raised to power 11 over 2 then raised to power 1 over 2 now this power multiply as well we have 2 raised to power 11 over 4 now then equals to 2 raised to power 11 over 4 here so therefore the left hand side equals to the right hand side and from here we can conclude that x equals to 11 over 24 satisfies this given problem thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more exciting videos turn the notification bell on share this video give a thumbs up see you in the next class then bye for now